Hey ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Brand Lessons and welcome back to another video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And in today's episode, I'm going to be discussing how long it takes to create a fragrance from beginning to end. So make sure to stay tuned. As you can tell from the title down below, the topic of this video will be how long does it take to create a fragrance. Now, for those of you who don't know, I'm going to be releasing my own brand very soon. And this is something that I sort of just dove right in. I didn't have a whole lot of experience with this and there was a lot of trial and error and it was certainly a learning experience for me. And so as part of my mission statement, I did want to bring you along for the ride. And I wanted to show you a little bit of what happens behind the scenes when you create your own fragrances or when you commission somebody, I should say, to make fragrances for you. Now, before I start, I just want my subscribers to take a look at the following picture. Now that's actually in my kitchen. Those are all of the laboratory bottles that I've received from all of the factories that I've worked with. And as you can tell, I haven't taken the time to count it, but I think it's easy to say that there's well over a hundred bottles resting on that table alone. So I think you take a look at something like that and you're easily intimidated. And I think there's one thing that comes to my mind is I have enough juice there alone to last me for the rest of my life. But in all seriousness, I think that a lot of people are under the impression that when you bring a fragrance to market, it's something that takes many years and these perfumers sit in front of their perfumer's organ and they toil about way past midnight by candlelight trying to perfect their fragrance. And a lot of people, I think, underestimate the expertise and the talent of these perfumers. Obviously, this is their job and this is something that they've been trained to do and this is something that they spend many years formally training themselves to do. And so I think it's safe to say that a fragrance doesn't take three or four or five years to produce. That is erroneous and it is a misnomer. And I think what a lot of brands do is they kind of just perpetuate this narrative to sort of give consumers the impression that their fragrance took such a long time to be produced and it's such a masterful composition. Now, of course, I'm also not suggesting that fragrances are made overnight. I'm not suggesting that they're made in two days or even in a week because for all of these uh, briefs that we did submit to uh, the factories, it easily took a couple weeks for them to get returned back to us. Now, of course, we weren't always initially uh, impressed with the first batches that we received. And so, of course, there was a little bit of tweaking and modification that needed to happen in order to bring it to the next step and then from there to be brought to the next step, so on and so forth. So the thing that I personally witnessed in regards to my own brand is that, yes, it did take several months, maybe a little bit close to a year to bring a fragrance to market, but that's only because of the tweaks and modifications. I think that in the case of a lot of brands, it's quite possible that they might smell a fragrance uh, from the offset and say, you know what, this actually smells really good. I don't think I want to mess around with this too much. And I also thought that to be the case with some of the fragrances that I received back from these perfumers as well. I remember smelling it and thinking to myself, wow, this is really good. And I've never, of course, wanted to be a dictator and I didn't want to tell somebody how they should be doing their job because they possess a certain level of expertise that I don't. And so I remember playing with it and wearing it. And obviously this is going to take a long time, waiting for it to macerate, holding off and saying, you know what? I know I probably shouldn't sample this just yet. I should give it a couple of weeks to really strengthen and then I'll try it on skin or I'll spray it on my clothes or wherever you want to sample it and then spend a whole week with it or perhaps even more time with it. And so this is why I've been working on this project for the past year and a half, obviously going back and forth. And, you know, I think it's as much of the work of the perfumer as it is the work of the person who commissions the project because inevitably if you have a vision in mind and you have a certain aesthetic or a certain narrative that you're willing to fulfill or that you're trying to fulfill it's not something that might always happen from the very first creation that you receive. It's something that takes a little bit of tweaking, a little bit of work, and a little bit of time. But the one thing that I'm incredibly thankful for is the fact that these perfumers got it right from the start. That's not to say that I didn't tweak the formulas, but they knew exactly what I was asking for. And I think a lot of that came from having really uh, concrete frames of reference 
that the perfumers can play off of. And so I remember even uh, some of the fragrances that I received back smelling them and I said, yes, there are elements of this other fragrance that I referenced or there are sort of general classifications that fell in line with the um, olfactory profiles that I submitted for their consideration in the briefs. And so I'm very thankful of the expertise of these uh, perfumers. Now that brings me to my next point. Are there necessarily times when a fragrance does take several years to be produced? And the answer to that question is yes. It really all depends on your approach. I for one know that I don't need to play around with a fragrance for two or three months in order to get a really good feel or a good understanding for it. I know that I can wear it for a couple of weeks easily and I know how it performs on my skin, but also having waited until it's fully macerated in order to play around with it, knowing that I'm getting a generally accurate assessment from wearing that fragrance. And the other time when fragrances take a little bit longer to be brought to market is when um, companies release them on a schedule. So I for one know that there are a lot of companies that have had fragrances ready to go, but they're putting them on a schedule. And so even though a fragrance is ready now, they might not choose to release it until 2021 or 2022, just because they wanna give other fragrances a chance to really simmer on the market, Customers can discover them, they can subsequently purchase them, and that fragrance gets exhausted before introducing the next one. And so I think that that's also one of the reasons why a lot of other companies, uh, when they do follow the trends, it's something that doesn't happen for the next year or two. It's something that doesn't happen immediately afterwards, but it does take a little bit of time. And so how long does it take for a fragrance to be brought to market? Well, it really all depends on the person, and it all depends on the perfumer you hire, how... Um, how understandable the briefs are and also how well the perfumer acts on those briefs. And I feel as though I've been very fortunate and gifted to have a set of really talented perfumers that fully understood what I was talking about and they executed things perfectly and it 100% aligns with my brand's vision and the aesthetic that I was going for, but also the concept behind each fragrance, which of course in the next few videos I'm really happy to introduce to you and so creating a fragrance does take a long time and in my case you know some fragrances took you know several months to create some fragrances took almost a year to create but um, at the end of the day this is a labor of love and this is something that I've had nothing but fun and love and passion doing and I can't wait to share it with you. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm really excited for you to sample my fragrances down the line. And obviously when more information becomes available, I will be sharing it with my subscribers. If you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, I would really love it and appreciate it if you can leave a comment down below and also click the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel. This way, whenever I do upload future fragrance related videos, they will get delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future content. Thanks again for watching everyone. I love you all. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.